Hi. So today uh, we will discuss uh, another kind of semantic checks that we perform during semantic analysis and that is called as type checking. So before going to type checking, uh, we basically uh, we should know how the languages are classified on the basis of their types. Okay. So what I mean to say is first is type checking is nothing but how the types are attached to a given uh, given variable or a given expression or a given statement. So we perform that consistency check whether proper vari whether the types are properly uh, uh, attached to a given variable or expression or statements and that is what type checking is all about. So before discussing the type checking we should know how we classify the uh, various languages on the basis of types. First of all how we classify the uh, given uh, just a second how we classify the given uh, type checking okay so first is I say static just a second static versus dynamic type check So what is static type checking and what is dynamic type checking? So, so what is static and dynamic uh, in a given program? So a program is executed in two phases. First, it is compiled first. A program we first uh, we first create the program and then we pass it to the compiler. It gets compiled and the binary is created, and that phase is called compilation phase. Okay. This phase is called compilation phase. Now, the compilation after that, when the program is executed, it behaves differently on the basis of what input we are providing to the program. And that is why that is dynamic in nature and it is also called as runtime environment. Okay. So the execution phase is called runtime and the compilation phase is static in nature. Okay. So, so those type checks which are performed during the compilation phase itself are called as static type, type check. Okay. And those which are performed during the runtime or during the execution of a program is called dynamic type check. Okay. For example, consider the C language. Okay. In C language, most of the checks are static in nature. So, uh, if if I assign a given uh, floating point variable or a given string characters of a pointer an integer or a floating point variable, then it will give an error that okay type mismatch has happened. Okay, so those checks are static in nature, but also C provides some kind of dynamic check like array bound check. So I say array bound check is dynamic in nature. Just a minute. Then there is we cannot dereference a null null pointer. So null pointer dereferencing is another kind of dynamic type check. Okay. So all the checks are, uh, so in this way the type checks are classified as static and dynamic. Okay. There is another concept uh, on which types can be classified uh, on the basis of where we are attaching the type to a given variable and that is called as static versus dynamic typing.
okay static versus dynamic typing so what does this mean so at what stage i am attaching a given type to a given variable okay where this binding is happening for example if i in c language i say int a as soon as i declare this the variable a gets attached to the type integer and hence in c language it is static typing so c language is mainly c c++ or java they they support static typing okay but there are certain languages like uh, uh, lisp or we say uh, there is another language called small talk that supports dynamic typing what does this mean that means during the execution phase the type gets attached to a given variable okay okay so this is all about static versus dynamic type check and static versus dynamic typing okay there is another way to classify a given language on the basis of the strength of the type check i am performing and hence i can classify the language as strongly typed versus weakly typed language okay so what is a strongly typed language so so the extent to which i perform the type check in a strongly typed language is is maximum that means we perform all kinds of type checks okay uh, for example uh, in every expression we try to see whether uh, every operation uh, sorry so so in every operation we try to see the the types of the arguments which the given operator is taking should match with should match with what is the actual uh means actual expressions we are passing to the given operation okay for example uh, i cannot so the conca suppose i have a concatenate a concatenate operation in c i cannot concatenate a string with an integer okay so that is what we call as a strongly typed language okay but another uh, but still c is a uh, it's it's somewhat there are certain uh, flexibility which the language c provides and hence it can be considered as a weakly typed also uh, in the sense that we have a union variable that takes various types of objects okay and when we type cast it it uh, it very well takes this uh, means uh, we can type cast it to a, any given uh, variable okay now weakly typed languages are also or uh, machine languages machine level languages are mainly weakly typed okay okay why because you have a given set of instruction and the the types of arguments are nothing but the addresses of registers okay register variables and there is very less uh, type checking done at the assembly level or the machine level okay so so a system level language or a uh, assembly level language is a weakly typed language we say okay so with this let us try to create a pyramid okay so i can say it's not a pyramid but it's a two directional stuff okay so in the left phase i have static and strongly typed okay in the right phase i have dynamic and the upper side i have weakly typed language okay so 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 the strength so the static or the dynamic nature moves in this direction and the strength that is whether it is a strongly typed or weakly typed moves in this direction okay 
so you have here java java is strongly typed as well as static c++ is less less uh, means strongly typed compared to java but it is still static and strongly typed c is again less uh, strongly typed compared to c++ okay you have in the weekly type you have machine code okay any machine level assembly level language okay in the dynamic type you have javascript okay and uh, small talk also okay so in this way we classify the languages on the basis of types okay one is static versus dynamic one is strongly typed versus weakly typed okay